Black Sea is an important strategic location as far as the Eastern Europe is concerned. Since the Russia had invaded Crimea, this catches many eyeballs. And even if we speak about the Russia-Ukraine war, also various different stakeholders other than the Russia-Ukraine had participated as far as Black Sea is concerned. So if we see uh, the recent the grain deal initiative that was that were signed that happened which, between uh, between Russia and Ukraine UN and Turkey they also became participant in this deal so the thing is this the black sea this this become very important for, from the security perspective of Russia as well as the euro atlantic people So as we speak about the Black Sea, then we need to understand and then we need to know that it's not for the first time that there are battles over two countries. There has been battles over the exact Black Sea before as well. So in this episode, I'll try to walk you through the various uh, rivalries that were there as far as the Black Sea is concerned, uh, the important part is that uh, the important part was that who uh, the, the fight of dominions to fight to the fight to take control of the Black Sea was very much there around uh, from 17th to, ni to 19th century between the two magnificent empires, which is uh, number one the Ottoman Empire and the next one was the the Russian Empire. When the first Turco-Russian battle happened, the reason that the Russia, uh, the reason for Russia to went war with the Turks was to get control of the warm ports of the Black Sea. And eventually, if we see it after, since the two centuries have passed, when when the both empire were decaying or uh, when both empire got decayed they signed a treaty which is known as Montrex Convention. Montrex Convention was an international agreement governing Bosphorus, Sea of Marmara and Dardanelles Strait. Under this convention Turkey has the right to stop the cargo in the situation of war or when her security is threatened. Now, this was going to be the another reason between a rivalry between the two countries. Number one is Turkey and number second is Soviet Union. So during the Second World War, Turkey was almost uh, neutral. And Russia uh, and the Soviet Union wanted to, to alter the status quo related as far as the Montrex Convention is concerned. So Soviet Union had pressurized Turkey to to lift the, the Montrex, to actually abandon or to, to lift uh, the penalties of the Montrex Convention to which the Turkey did not agree. And then Soviet had uh, had started to pressure, had to started to pressurize, had started to build up uh, the military as uh, military around Turkey and then Turkey had in the climax it is said that the Turkey had applied for the NATO membership and she got accepted. Now let's talk about the events that happened after 1991 when the Soviet Union got dissolved. So as Soviet Union got dissolved various countries were born out of it. One of that country was also Ukraine. Ukraine connects Black Sea to the region to Europe and Russia through the river of Dnieper. So in order to know uh, the context of battle between the two nations, the Russia and Ukraine, uh, Crimea also also played an important role. And it could be said that the seed of, of the present Russia-Ukraine conflict was, was actually sowed exactly after the dissolution of, of the USSR. How? Let me, let me explain it to you. So Crimea was gifted 
by Russia to Ukraine by the, by Nikita Khrushchev. And since then, when when USSR broke out, Crimea went along with Ukraine, and it now. But Crimea was strategically strategically important from the perspective of Russia. So, as far as the Russian nationalism is concerned, and various other factors and the geostrategic factor, Russia did not want to give up their hand from Crimea, and in in that process, Crimea, uh, Russia had had actually forced Ukraine to sign a friendship treaty where Russians would be building uh, military equipments or other military bases in in the Sevastopol which we then saw it made a very crucial it became very crucial when Russia had annexed Crimea in 2014. Now the question is with why Black Sea is very important. Black, Black Sea is very important as far as the strategic location is concerned. It is situated between Europe and Central Asia. So naturally the Black Sea gives access uh, to two different continents. One is Europe and another one is Asia. Second, through the Black Sea, uh, various crude oils is exported from the various countries for example like Russia, Azerbaijan and Kazakhstan. Combining Ukraine and Russia both of them are both of them supplies grain to the world. Ukraine is also known as the, the breadbasket of the world because it is the second largest exporter of wheat and her wheat is purchased by, by various countries in Asia and Africa. Again Another thing is also very important is the supply of iron and steel and Ukraine exports one tenth of her iron of her iron and steel to Europe and if this is interrupted then it can affect the industries in Europe. So these are the few reasons why the Black Sea is very important so naturally what hap what is happening is that anybody who controls the, the the strategic ports in the black sea is going to to exert his uh, exert her dominance over the region and this is why when we saw uh, the battles after battles were fought is to have a control over this black sea because of which it could give them an undue advantage as far as um, the various resources and the economic routes which which exports uh, goods from black sea to the various nations and and because of this when when we see that when even even the even turkey uh, when Russia annexed Crimea in 2014, in 2016, it made a statement that it that she did not want Russia, uh, the Black Sea, to become a Russian lake. And the important development in this whole whole scenario was that NATO, because as far as NATO was concerned, so NATO was not very interested in the in this Eastern European region, but. But now, as they are, they are now realizing the importance of the Black Sea and its, its strategic value, NATO is also is very interested in this region. So, so after Russia had annexed Crimea, NATO had also uh, planned exercises here. And if we look back from the Russian uh, from the Russian point of view she believed that NATO was encroaching this region the Black Sea region very early so when in 2000s when we saw various other revolution happened uh, for example in Ukraine 
it was orange revolution and in georgia it was george it, it was actually rose revolution and all these revolutions were made to throw out the russian um the government which supports russia so this so this thing russia had considered it as a threat that nato was trying to encroach her security but the thing is that even if even if we we consider we hope that this battle ends but black sea is again going to be bloody or black sea is not going to be peaceful because every stakeholder is going to involve in this strategic fight